Good evening. I'd like to introduce you TUI, which is a text user interface for Linux scripts. So a script is usually executed in a terminal or in a console. Uh, what you see here now is uh, yeah, a terminal in, in, in a GUI. Um, TUI works both on a TTY as well as in uh, GUI's terminal window um, doesn't really matter uh, anyway scripts are in the shell and now a shell is either a C shell a K shell a Z shell a bash or just a shell so um, they also work from init1 init2 init um, init 1, init 3 or init 5 which would be the modern equivalence of um, emergency stage, multi-user stage or graphical stage um, corresponding to their um, targets in uh, ADC, lib, uh, system, systemd uh, for yeah, systemd systems obviously which Fedora is. Now anyway, uh, in scripts you often use echo to present some information to the user so he can decide further. You also um, give the user the opportunity to um, say yes or no or select among so some files, whatever. <coughs> um, well, the selecting part has to be done yet still. But um, you do can select some information, yes or no, and read information with read, obviously. Um, but let's get started with simple examples. So you do um, bring information to the user using echo. So echo hello world results in hello world in the shell. Now with TUI it's just about the same but without the quotes you see suddenly a, a difference mm, it's world. so as you see hello is left and the world is right now this is the first string and this is the second string let's add a third string hello world so we have the first string on the left side, the second string in the middle, and the third string on the right. Um, you also may pass um, empty strings, so this would become hello world, and you now see um, left and in the middle is nothing, and everything is on the right. So this is mainly the purpose or the method TUI is using. So you see your information presented on the left in the middle or on the right hand side of the screen as well as uh, encapsulated or, or something like that with the borders left and right. Um, that can be configured using TUI itself. Um, it will open the, the correspondent configuration files for you once you call it. But before we get there let me introduce some more commands that are used and part of this package. So we already have seen TUI echo, so let me show you um, TUI indie, which I kind of like. Um, seen in old school terminals like uh, back in 1994, installing Doom uh, on MS-DOS machine. Um, it was shown um, as indicator of progress to see just a line moving around. So you see here now calling three in the see here a, a vertical line. Now again you see a forward slash. Now you see a dash. Now you see a backslash. I'm just referring here to the first symbol just before my colored um, shell prompt starts to appear. Um, just calling that by itself doesn't do much, it doesn't look cool, it, it's just nothing. So 
go. Let's have another look at Tweet Print App. Um, by itself, it doesn't do much uh, as well. It doesn't even doesn't look any different than Tweet Echo um, uh, if it's called without any arguments. Even with, they would present it just the same way. But just like Echo and Printf, uh, if called directly, Printf. Uh, writes on the line remaining the current printed stuff and Twi echo starts a new line and ends its output with a new line character printf doesn't do so so printf is used to present any information to remain on the same line as you are so to illustrate this um, Let's make a little line uh, in the shell. Uh, while true do tweet printf some info and now let's call tweet indie and done. So it will be kind of fast uh, the animation at least. So you see here on the right hand side it's spinning and all the thing stays stays on the same line so that is the purpose for print twi print f and twi indie uh, of course uh, i have now aborted it so if i now call twi status um dollar sign question mark um just like if i would do with echo i get the return value of, of the last um exit value of the last run command or, or whatever so uh, with twi status uh, it's also presented within the common style of twi with the border left and border right now since it is a special exit code it prints it as a number but if, if you do get uh, a common return value like from echo and you call then twi status you see oh okay it's been executed successfully now the same goes um, if it fails. Now let me do this uh, as another example. So with tweet ball yes no um, is this uh, Linux? So it's now asking uh, if it's a Linux, um, as you see here and we can press yes or no. However, we can also press O, which is French oui, which is actually yes. So um, now again calling three status, yes, it's successfully with O. So just to be sure, yes, does the same. But if I do, if I do a no, and again a no, or whatever, something else, um, and call it again. You do see here a cross, so for it has been failed. But any console presentation is nothing without anything to indicate what's on top or, uh, or um, to present it a little bit different. So let me show you the power of Twi with Twi header. As we said, uh, as I already said, you can pass up to three strings. Uh, first string will be left, second string will be in the middle, and the third string will be on the right hand. However, if you just pass two strings, the second string will be on the right hand side. So uh, let me show this um, here. Left and right. And of course we want um, something centered as well so we have a title with a center and now this looks much more like an application at least to start with so we did have left we do have right and we do have a center that is tweet title is the exception of the alignment order because the first one will be in the center and if there are pause two no more center as you see now, it's just the center is on the left and the second one in the middle. I see this one needs to be fixed. 
but um, that's about how it works. So um, all this said and shown, let me show you how it looks as an application as itself. So we see here Twi comes now with version 040 and today we have the 2013 October 19th at 5 past uh, well let's say ha half to 3 a.m. Uh, some information to the user uh, left and right aligned and asking now here if you want to open configuration files yes or no if I say no it just exits and if I say yes it will work and open the previously set favorite text editor I have chosen in here well but actually um, I have set it uh, system-wide as root so at the moment you do see here oh, the file is user conf in home config twi but if I now call it just the same if I call sudo uh, twi with sudo you see here now it's uh, it will be open uh, a different uh, file so you see here um, the settings that can may be set system wide uh, set your personal preferences. Now this is as a root this is mainly for system administrators while of course tweak calling as a user is a per user setting. Um, so you don't have to worry which editor or, or um, which browser or uh, which terminal the user prefers as you may set them here. Of course this is just a template um, Firefox is not a dependency, however, Vim and Nano R. Xterm is obviously installed on, on any Linux system, so it's not really any dependency as well. And yeah, you, you can also set uh, the byte size used for 3DD to write any, well, for example, an ESO file to a USB stick. Or whatever, uh, or, or to make a backup of your uh, boot partition uh, to a file. Um, either way, it will also display how much data it has been um, copied, written. Now, to illustrate what's been done in 3DD, I'm going to show you the um, commands. The commands: uh, 3 download and 3 tar. Uh, Tui Str USB is also quite nice. Uh, I'm pretty proud of that one too. So if I now enter Tui Str USB, oh, yeah, of course, it has to type right. So it asks me, please connect an USB device. And now here the animation while it's waiting. Um, I'm just grabbing now a, a USB thumb drive and plug it in and it will return with the actual device name. Of course this is not really helpful for um, a script inside but you do can redirect the output of course as it's Linux you, you are very encouraged to do so actually. So um, let's just say str as a string. Uh, why does it make that? That's not what I want. So uh, now cut the screw and I see that one. But of course uh, it could be done differently. But anyway, that's not what I want to show. Uh, I have prepared a file for you. So this is demo one in that case. Downloading a, a Unix handbook. Um, yes, so creating a temporary. You now see here the file with the data transferred and uh, the progress indicator here. As well as with, with the tweet title showing some information. You see here it's downloading this file with this progress actually and, and it's still running. Well the compression was quite too fast but would have been worked as well. And 
this ones here actually uh, well on the right hand side these ones are actually uh, from TUI status um, and, and just used to show that it has been run successfully so the user has something to quotes work with um, TUI is just to present it to the user so the user who's not so familiar with a terminal has a chance to interpret the information he gets at least that's the idea behind it so I hope this gave you a short impression uh, of what it is what it could be or uh, for what it could be used hope you liked it and I wish you a nice weekend and have a good night